member for Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Well, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once you grow up. So said Pablo Picasso. Indeed, I believe we are all artists, but day-to-day -day demands, the siren call of the status quo, can sometimes smother the ability to truly wonder, to dream, to question, to make art a verb and not just a noun that you hang on the wall. Every city needs art, and art has to be in the middle of the people. Oz genius. Art on the streets, sculptures in the parks, giants on concrete silos, art by bike, phone, air, earth, water, beginning in Vancouver's and now in Richmond, New West, Squamish, North Van, Surrey, the Vancouver Sculpture Biennale, the Vancouver Biennale. Thanks to founder Barry Mowat and his team at the Biennale, art is indeed all around us, large, small, on street corners, Skytrain stations, where we live. It brings performances, dialogues, residencies, and of course the sculptures that we know so well. It reminds us to open our minds, open our hearts, ask questions, and not accept a bland status quo. Are we to do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? The Biennale says no. Some in our communities, and indeed this House, may look at some art and say privately, what the F, and dismiss art as it's not immediately understandable. Well, Honourable Speaker, what the F is an art piece at this year's Biennale. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei, who has faced persecution for his art and his stand for free speech in China, has challenged us all to be artists with this piece. So with that spirit, I will add to his piece and make the letter F with my tie or noose, as it sometimes feels. F for freedom, F for fear, fight, fantasy, and well, F for, you get the idea. What the F indeed. Thank you to the Biennale and Barry Mowat for their leadership, for their vision, and for giving us the opportunity to be artists once again.